take a court to really look at the full range of evidence to decide if a crime has occurred. And we see events like... Um, Journalism is the practicing of investigation and reporting of events, issues and trends to a broad audience in a timely fashion. Co-founder of WikiLeaks, Julian Assange, said in an opening statement after the organization was formed on the 4th of October 2006 that WikiLeaks exists to bring important news and information to the public. One of our most important activities is to publish original source material alongside our news stories so readers and historians alike can see evidence of the truth. But there is a problem. Come on, buddy. I got you to pick up a weapon. In May 2010, US President Barack Obama signed legislation intended to promote a free press around the world. It requires the US Department of State to expand its scrutiny of news media restrictions and intimidation. But when that freedom exposes controversial truths about the powers themselves, we see a different side of the coin. Well, you can understand the American government wanting to restrict uh, information that doesn't suit their purposes, because it's going to affect their re-election chances, or their job prospects, or whatever. One o'clock, haven't seen anything since then. A month before, in April 2010, WikiLeaks released its most damaging footage to date. Seen here, a number of Iraqi civilians and two Reuters journalists are gunned down. The US Army Apache helicopter crew ignoring the rules of engagement. Come on, fire! Hey, Roger. Keep shooting. Bushmaster, Crazy Horse, we have individuals going to the scene. Looks like possibly uh, picking up bodies and weapons. As a civilian van arrived to pick up the dead, the US Apache turned its guns onto the van and its occupants, despite there being two children inside. Come on, let us shoot. One eight, okay. Clear. Come on. Clear. Clear. This shocking footage caused immense embarrassment to the US government and started a witch hunt for those responsible for leaking it. Clear. Oh yeah, look at that, right through the windshield. <laughs> Clearly Assange is saying there's some significant stuff out. Tom Flanagan. Well, I think Assange should be assassinated, actually. I think Obama should put out a contract and maybe use a drone or something. The embarrassment caused by WikiLeaks has created a backlash so great that some people have appeared on US national television calling for the assassination of Julian Assange. Just for the record, that's pretty harsh stuff. Well, I'm feeling very manly today. We've got special ops forces. I mean, a, a dead man can't leak stuff. This guy's a traitor, a treasonous, and, and, and he has broken every law of the United States. The guy ought to be... And I'm not for the death penalty, so if I'm not for the death penalty, I only want to do it illegally shoot the son of a b Well, what about it? Assange should be assassinated. Assange should be assassinated. Assange should be assassinated, actually. It was U.S. Army soldier Bradley Manning who passed on the footage, known as collateral murder, to WikiLeaks. For his part in the exposure, he was arrested, charged, and detained in appalling conditions. He faces a hearing on the 16th of December 2011, and if convicted, faces life imprisonment. Bradley Manning is not alone in facing the courts. In November 2010, an arrest warrant was issued for Julian Assange. Accused of sexual offences, many Assange supporters believe the accusations to be a fabrication designed to take Assange off the scene. Well, you have to um, always uh, speculate on any, any, um, any action of that sort that happens to just coincide with this guy, you know, becoming... Um, very famous or 
um, releasing information which is embarrassing governments all over the world. And you have to say to yourself, you know, these two things happening together, rather odd, isn't it? Yes, I'm, I'm sure that someone, you know, sitting well back, you know, from the front line, you know, the grey forces, if you like, um, you know, within society, uh, someone will have said, well, you know, we've got to stop all this, you know, how can we stop it, what can we do? Um, well, it's a well-known technique, you know, you kind of destabilise the person who's doing it and um, you pin something on them. We're here because we don't think Julian Assange should be in prison. We don't think he should be extradited to Sweden or to the United States. Thanks to these revelations from WikiLeaks, we know more about the United States secret wars in Pakistan and Yemen. So WikiLeaks is performing a public service. People alleged of uh, murdering somebody can get bail, and this man, who is charged with nothing, and for whom there is no prima facie case against him, he must get bail. Excuse me. The court case against Assange is not the only factor affecting the WikiLeaks crusade. Like any high-profile website, WikiLeaks requires financing to operate. A large amount of the funding comes in the form of donations, which require third parties to process. MasterCard, Visa and PayPal, alongside the Bank of America, have withdrawn their services from WikiLeaks. Leaked emails between the Bank of America and their lawyers, Hunton and Williams, reveal that the companies are willing to break the law to bring down WikiLeaks. Priceless. There are some people who don't like change. For everyone else, there's WikiLeaks. So what's next for Julian Assange and WikiLeaks? After several failed attempts, Assange was finally granted permission to appeal against his extradition to the Supreme Court. His appeal will be heard on the 19th of December 2011, and a decision made the same day. He has spent a total of 371 days under virtual house arrest on conditional bail. He has yet to be charged for any crime. In the event that Assange is imprisoned, or if he or the WikiLeaks website are in any way incapacitated, an encryption key will be sent out. This key unlocks a 1.4 gigabyte insurance file that contains unreleased information that is potentially devastating to the US government. Whatever happens, the voice of WikiLeaks and its founder will continue to echo around the world.